Hey gang, it's Will, and I want to talk about halftones. If you've heard of them before, you probably associate them with old comic books or newspapers, and that's because the process was originally invented to help printers reach a similar level of depth to photographs. It basically tricks the eye into thinking that there's more tonal depth to an image than there really is. Although it isn't really needed with today's printers, it still looks really cool, so I'm going to show you how to simulate it in Photoshop. So get your subject, and at least for your first one, I'd recommend making it black and white with an adjustment layer just so you can get a good foundation for what it'll look like. Next, make a new layer, go to Edit, Fill, and make the contents 50% gray. Convert that to a smart object and then go to your filter gallery. Go to Sketch, Halftone Pattern. Make sure the pattern is set to dots, make the size 4, and the contrast is going to depend on your subject and style you're going for, but I'm going to put mine at 30. If you want to make it extra pulpy, add another layer and set it to torn edges with the settings somewhere around here. When you're done, hit OK. Now change the blending mode. This is going to vary based on what you're going for. I like going with a hard mix if I'm going for that pulpy look that I was talking about. It almost looks like a portrait for a 90s video game, if you know what I mean. From there, I would pull down the fill to make it look a bit nicer, and then I would stop there. For a different effect though, go back to the filter gallery and get rid of the roughened edges and set the size of the dots to 3. Now hit OK again and change the blending mode to linear light. Go to Filter, Distort, Twirl, and set the angle to negative 65. Lastly, I'm going to add a color fill set to this dark pink and bring it to the top of the layers. Set the blending mode to Hard Mix and bring the opacity down to 72 and the fill down to 85. And that's how to do a halftone effect! Have fun with this and experiment. There's so many different ways to make a cool piece with this, and if you make something awesome, let us know. Even though working on design projects may be a lot of fun, it's still incredibly time consuming and even challenging. To help you save time while still creating good work, we've got design templates for Photoshop, which allow you to finish projects within minutes instead of hours. So if you want to start saving time now, start by checking out our links in the description below.